Hi, I'm Hussein, and behind the camera is my brother Hassan. Hi. Yeah, uh, we are both from Tajikistan, and in this channel, we teach Tajik language. In this class, we'll talk about the ordinal numbers. Rakamhoi Tartibi, this is in Tajik. Rakamho means numbers, and Tartibi, ordinal, ordinal numbers. And if you haven't watched our previous video about the numbers, I would recommend you to watch that first before watching this video. Okay. So, رقم هوي ترتيبي. First will be uh, يكوم. This is how we write it. One dash um يكوم. And then second would be دويوم. دويوم. So you see here, um, it's different. Here it's um, and then we have يوم. So for دويوم and the next one سيوم we have يوم, but the rest is um, 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 the same. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that uh, later. So, fourth until twentieth, the same like in English, we say chorum or bistum here. Chorum, bistum. And fifteenth, for example, will be ponzda hum. So, you see the same um like here. Ponzda hum. Twenty second will be bistudu yum. Yum, twenty third will be bistu se yum. The same, this one se yum, bistu se yum, and the same for thirty uh, third. For example, si yu se yum, uh, fifty third, panjohu se yum. Uh, the way we teach here, it's the dialect that we use in the north part of Tajikistan, because in the south or other parts of Tajikistan they. Probably they say something like sevum. So it's a little bit different. They have v in the middle. Uh, but we say seyum. And even if you use seyum or uh, duyum, people will still understand you. Yes. Okay. Next one. Uh, for example, 154th. Yaksadu, yaksadu, panjohu, chorum. Chorum. Yaksadu panjohu chorum. Let's say hundred uh, one thousand and fifth, for example. Hazoru panjum. Hazoru panjum. Same. Okay. And there is an example the sentence. This is our eighth class uh, lesson. In Darsi, Darsi ta, sorry, Darsi means lesson. In Darsi hashtumi momi boshat. In Darsi Hashtumi Mo Meboshat. All right, now let's talk about this part. So, this is one third. We say Se Yak. So, first we say Se, number three, and then one Yak. Se Yak. It's the same like German. Uh, if they say 20, 23, they first say like Drei und Zwanzig, like first three and then 20. So, it, it's pretty much the same like that. So, Choryak, it's one fourth choryak, and then uh, this one is as hashed do. Again, first you say hash eight, and then two do as hash do as half chor as half chor hisse. Sometimes we say hisse as half chor hisse. Okay, next nafar we use it for people when you count people. For example, five students we say punch nafar. Sorry, punch. Here we have nafar. Punch nafar talaba. Punch nafar talaba. Punch nafar um, mualim. Mualim it means teacher. Okay, sar we use for animals. Like forty-three cows will be chilu se sargo. Chilu se sargo. All right, and the last one, ta to or Dona. So for objects, items, and even for people, we use that for people. So, for example, shash dona shaftolu. It means six peaches. So here I said dona. Maybe in the books you will say you will see dona, but usually people say ta. We say, for example, uh, in my hometown we say shash ta shaftolu. We don't say uh, 
uh, we don't say dona usually. We usually say ta. A- and the same for uh, for animals and for people. We just we just say ta. Like shashta talaba, chiluseta go. Uh, people will still understand you if you use ta. Oh yeah, one more thing. Sometimes people underline sh when they write because they want to show that that's the letter sh. Um, it's good for a reader because sh or t. This is t tajik or e. They they look the same sometimes, so people want to show that that's the letter sh. So they underline. It means sh. For t, they do this. Sh t, yes. This is when people write, but in the books you will not see this. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget we have a PDF version uh, of this class in the description down below. You can download it for free. We have more examples there. And thank you very much for watching. Um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.